everyone. Welcome to another episode of Star Wars Minute. It's a daily podcast where we analyze, scrutinize, and celebrate the rise of Skywalker one minute at a time. Kooky, I know, but just give it a listen. I'm Alex Robinson from alexrobinson.fun. I'm Pete the Retailer from PeteTheRetailer.com. I'm Tom Taylor from the Caddyshack Minute and the Blues Brothers Minute and the Trading Places Minute. Hmm. And I'm John Engel from the Alien Minute, 007 by 7 uh, ABCD TOS and ABC Devo podcasts. All right. Just to recap. We're busy. My podcasts. <laughs> well, thanks for closing out the week with us here, fellas, and taking time out of your busy podcasting schedules to talk about Minute 105 of The Rise of Skywalker. Minute 105 starts off with Rey continuing to look around the blue cloudy throne room until Sheev starts speechifying. And it ends a minute later with Sheev just saying, no. <laughs> <laughs> what um, is making that mechanical whispery sound? Is that diegetic? Diegenic? Or the, is that, is that sound? Is that the crowd? Or the, I thought, yeah, I thought is, that was that, part of the crowd. So they're doing like mm. chants and whispers in the crown. Mm. This was all like planned yeah. out ahead of time. And, and, uh, okay. All right. It's all the Slytherins. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. <laughs> um, yeah. I, 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 I was going to say, I have a, I have a note for this minute and I'm good before we reveal it. We, I might just wait until we kind of get there. Um, but I had this prediction that at least one of you will also have this exact note. And if you don't, mm. You know, no big deal. But when this when this hit me as I'm watching, I was like, "Man, I would be surprised if every I wouldn't be surprised if everybody wrote down this same note." Oh wow, it's kind of weird. Mm. But we'll see. Wow. By your faces, I'm thinking maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Will we not maybe be I'm friends wrong. anymore? We'll see that. Work out? We'll get there. No. Oh no, it'll be great because okay. then I'll get the glory of having mm. this note all to myself. Well, I, my nice first note but, um, is yes. when when she shows up and she was like, "Long have I waited," and I want one of the Sith loyalists to be like. How long? Like, <laughs> yeah, that's just. I'm just expecting that. That would have been nice. Yeah. I like. Uh, I like when Sheev shows up there because, in a weird way, it reminds me of uh, Yoda showing up in Empire Strikes Back, where mm. she just kind of turns and he's just there all of a sudden. The same way Yoda was like, mm. you know, yeah. like you're being watched. That I'll kind of a thing. Bit. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Away, so put your weapon. Theory. I mean, you know, harm. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Was that it, John? Was that Do the observation? Believe? No, no, it wasn't. <sighs> We're gonna keep I guess that. I should just get to it, right? Um, <laughs> no, no, well, no, 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 no. Let's, keep, let's keep going. No, wait, uh, I, see what who if, wins. <laughs> my next note is uh, when he's like, oh, long have I waited like for my grandchild to come, for my grandchild to come home. And then what if it just turned into like regular kind of like, you know, Balloons. granny and grandpa Pinch stuff. Pinch your cheek. Yeah, he's yeah. like. Pinch your cheek. I like, got pulled a quarter out from behind Sugary cereals if you want. I've got, uh, we, <laughs> I, I, your bed is all made in the back room. You can, you know, you can hang out there if you want. Um <laughs> Oh, the hard candies, candies are like. in the glass jar yeah. <laughs> next to the couch. <laughs> Don't take the plastic off of the couch. <laughs> it's a little dusty. Protect it. Uh, yeah, I thought that was funny because the first line is all like, long have I waited. And then he's like, for my grandchildren. You know, it's such yeah. a, a contrast between the two. Uh, it is a weird things. word to have in the Star Wars universe. Granddaughter, Grand grandfather. Grand child. Yeah. It's, 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 it's yeah. a lot different than father or mother mm. or son or whatever. Yeah. Okay, so what would be a Star Warsy name? Oh, for, I don't want that. Could there be no, a, no. the way that you go youngling for a kid? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what would a Boomer? A little tiny grandfather. <laughs> a little tiny grandfather. Long have I waited. <laughs> <laughs> so does Ray, is Ray, oh, yes. sorry, does Sheev know that mm. Ray knows that he is the grandfather? Oh, does he when think he, he's making mm -hmm. a big reveal right now? Yeah, does Your he think he's being for my <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, yeah, yeah there should have been a pause where he's waiting for a reaction. Uh, you already knew, didn't uh, you? Kylo uh, told you, didn't he? Once again, <laughs> no, this is it. all his lies. So, yes, he knew because he's the one who told, oh, he's the one who started on. that rumor. He told Kylo Ren to tell Ray. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, but, but it doesn't make but any sense. So. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. So Ray figures it out on her own, though, when she holds no, the she dagger doesn't. and she's like, I'm suddenly now having a memory of my parents being killed. Mm -hmm. I think that's her. Uh -huh. She, Oh, yeah. She has that revelation about that specifically. You mean the, the dagger that, that Sheev built? The dagger that Sheev made when she picks it up, that's what she learns from that? 
Are you saying he put like a, a spell saying. on it that made her think that? Uh, <laughs> that seems like a very magicy thing for you to say, Pete. Hmm. That he could Not put a his spell on it. But I mean, if if she's picking it up and getting an image from a dagger, like that's also from something like anything, any all of her sources of information for this this nugget of her parentage, all is coming from yeah. Sheev, who it's in his best interest for her to think that that's what's going on. Yeah, fair there's enough. No, there's no external, there's no like, yep, like DNA test. There's no like, you know, 2-1-B being like, whoa, wait, hey, this is Palpatine. Are you... Uh, It'd be okay um, for the character Luke's... to be jerked around like that, but not for the entire yeah. audience to be jerked around like that. I don't, well, I don't and also, Luke, Luke confirms it. Luke says you're Palpatine's daughter and Princess Leia yeah. knew, so that's kind of yeah, tough to argue like, with. Mm, they, they knew well, from the same, yeah. you know, I, they don't... I think he's a not not... You know, again, he's not he's not that he's saving face, but he was just like, oh, yeah, we found out they heard about that that kind of at the same time. So I was like, oh, yeah, they, they mm. we all knew all the all the force ghosts are talking about it at the water cooler. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> because that's that room that that's the rumor that was spread by Sheev yeah. because it was in his best interest. Oh, yeah. The most powerful Jedi. in the yeah, yeah, that's a relative of mine. Yeah. Of course. So Luke is <laughs> just a tool. Luke is a pawn in Sheev's game. Yeah, as, I mean, all we, as are we he's all fallen for it, too. Uh, all of this was conjured up, by the way, in the basement of a pizza parlor. Yeah, you know, exactly. Just to, just to give an equivalence of what level <laughs> Pete has gone <laughs> to defend this point of view. Um, it's like you literally can't say anything to him <laughs> without him having an answer. No, no, that's what they want you to think, man. <laughs> uh, one of the other lies that Palpatine offers in this minute is he says, I never wanted you dead. Despite, mm. you know, he like he pretty much told Kylo Ren, go kill her. He sent a lot of stormtroopers out to kill her. Yeah. Like, it's just pure dumb luck that she did not get killed at various points throughout this adventure so far. Well, is he just counting on the incompetence that- of everybody who works for him? Yes. <laughs> but even like the sending snake stormtroopers to kill somebody is, is not that the ultimate power being I mean, you're moves? actually more likely to survive that than. But to, I mean, in that yeah. speeder chase, she easily could have fallen off one of those speeders, broken her neck, and been dead right there on the on mm-hmm. on uh, Pasana or whatever. Like, but he was very. He was. Right. Let's just put it this way: he took. He was very reckless with her. If his whole intention was to use her as a vessel, you know, you think right. you'd be yeah. like, yeah, don't harm her in any way, you know, like, <laughs> right. Put her in bubble wrap. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yes, you know. It'd be a shame if something no, happened. No, I mean, but that would obviously this goes all the way back to the beginning of Star. Like, same could be said for Luke. Same, you know, on and Anakin and so on. No, but it's they were never supposed to be vessels, vessels for, for more. For the, like, she is well, specifically they were supposed, supposed to be to... something. Right, They're anyway. supposed to survive yeah. to to help him fulfill a plan in some way, right? Well, somebody he's just like playing Luke. all the thing. again. It's all his lies yeah. and it's all his his playing everybody against each other. If Kylo Ren would be like, oh, "I did it, I killed the Jedi," but great, I knew you would do it. You're my number one guy. Instead, Ray comes back and is like, "Great, yes, I never wanted you dead. I wanted you here. Of course, that's what like, and no matter what happens, he's like, "Yes, all according to my plan." That's of course, like because he's just throwing all this all these nets out there, and, and no matter what. Comes back to him. He's like, "Yes, I, I meant that." Like, <laughs> kind of like Pete when you try to have this conversation. About it. <laughs> it's very similar to. I'm saying the evidence is there, but I do like that it. Uh, it w- if I can once again revert to, he's like, "I never wanted you dead. I wanted you here to be uh, like a, a beautiful, pretty princess." And he's like, "Later, what do you want to be like?" Because he's like, you know, you Empress Palpatine. He's offering her, and just like, isn't that what you yeah. want? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Comes with the dress. <laughs> okay, so. I'm seeing now that nobody else has this note because oh. it just said all failed. the magic word. Pretty princess. And that is Empress Palpatine, which to me, I really this really stood out to me. Every time I watch this movie, he says, impress Palpatine. <laughs> and then he puts his arm out and then the camera pans over and I always expect like, Ride this tiny bicycle through right, the yeah. loop, or something like. He's, it sounds like he's telling her to impress him. Right? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I uh, maybe I over uh, overplayed that whole thing, but it really, like, I watched it multiple times. Like, he's not saying impress; he's saying impress. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh okay. And then he waves his hand over, which makes me think he's indicating in some way yeah. she's going to have to impress him. Do one of those things. Do, do a little dance. I was the only one. I was the yeah. only one to have that note. Mm. I was wrong. Yeah. I thought you were the smartest one on the show. Hmm. I like that also because yeah, he refers to himself. I am. The I'm the only one that. <laughs> That's actually true. You're right. <laughs> but I it like that he would be referring that, to, as good as I thought. to him. Yeah, he'd be referring to himself in the Sorry. third person. I like that too. So, um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's, that seems in character. Yeah, that is the trick. 
<laughs> uh, and so my, uh, he, she says, I haven't come to rule the fifth, the fifth, but to destroy <laughs> them. I kind of the fifth, and, the fifth. It's uh, very hard to understand what she's saying there. Yeah. It's it does very not, he says as a deep. Jedi. Yeah. 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 But I couldn't, I had to listen to it multiple times to figure out what she, she was saying she was going to yeah. do to the Sith. It's kind of, I don't know. Maybe my ears aren't working, but. And then he says, tell. no, no, which I, I, I like because it matches up with Darth Vader saying no during mm. it, the, you know, mm. uh, in Revenge of the Sith. But I also feel like the whole line about I haven't come to rule the Sith, uh, but to destroy them evokes Anakin or Obi-Wan's thing in Revenge of the Sith where he's supposed to say, you're supposed to destroy the Sith, not join them. Right. And uh, so yeah. I thought Palpatine should have said, then you are lost. Because then that would also be calling back to that very same uh, conversation. Like, am I? I thought I parked in the city a lot. I don't know what. Yeah, I might be lost. Yeah, <laughs> back to parking lots. Um, I will say though that the the exchange is, um, she says, "I've come. I haven't come to join the. What is it? Join the Jedi? I haven't come to rule them. the Sith, Lead. but to destroy them. Lead. Rule, the, rule. Lead rule, the rule the Sith." And he go, and he goes as a Jedi. And yeah. she goes, yes. And he goes, no. Right. And then that's the end of the minute. It's particularly <laughs> yeah. comedic in a way yeah. because that happens to be the very end of this minute. The so whole, he just sounds yeah. like he's going, no. The whole and then next they minute. Back and the, the next minute it'll just be them like, uh-huh, yeah. no. No, no. <laughs> no, no. Yes, no. Yes. No, it's supposed no, no, to be no, yes no. ending me. Although I what do you like don't that understand like, is I am rubber and you are glue. <laughs> <laughs> We're like... Tom and I were talking about the Great Muppet Caper earlier off mm. mic, and the, I've always loved how Charles Grodin goes, "No, no, yeah," <laughs> like when he's denying him, <laughs> get a little Grodin into that. Thieves aren't breathing down your neck. Oh no, if only, if only he had lived. <laughs> Miss Piggy, how <laughs> could you? Um, Grodin is the emperor. Oh man, I, yeah. um, I have a. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. I was just going to okay. pile onto that again. <laughs> it's like a game show. Like I've come, to, <laughs> haven't come to lead the Sith. I've come to end them as a Jedi. Yes, and try again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I have an interesting. Qu- Not- I, I think it's an interesting question. It's actually a great question. All does right, oh does Palpatine need to be in this movie? Whether I mean, what you know, I, no, I'm I'm not on the side of bringing him back at all. I think that's kind of rotten and unfair to Return of the Jedi and stuff. But but does even if that's like the story that 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 raise a Palpatine and stuff like that. And she's going to be turn evil. And there's the threat of her turning evil. Does he need to be physically here in the universe or in the movie? What is, well, you need, I feel like you need a boss for Kylo Ren. You need something that's going to, assuming you want everything else to be the same, which I don't know why you would. What does Ray do? (laughs) What does Ray do at the end of this movie then? Yeah, what ha- what's the I don't finale? Know. I mean, it could just it could just be between her, like Ben. Or oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to call him Ben. I'm sorry, Kylo Ren, the evil well, he's guy. Ben now. Oh, yeah, I know, but, yeah, but I think you know, he's been. That's true. Now, yeah. He's been Ben. He's been yeah, Ben. He's, yeah, uh, he's Brian Ben Ben. <laughs> I totally knew he Dream was going to come on. up during this conversation. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's uh, it could be like since Last Jedi, it seems that he has attained he is he's the supreme leader you know he is uh, he's on top of the heap he's he's the guy it could all just a be number between one. her and him which is mm-hmm. it was like a continuation of last jedi with uh he's the he's you know she's trying to save him he's trying to turn her kind of a darth vader luke skywalker thing i mean you could almost say the emperor didn't need to be there for the return of the well not so much he belonged mm-hmm. there in return of the jedi but I don't know. He's, he's, I guess this, where this is coming from is that in this movie, he seems like almost kind of a non character. Like he's there and he says some stuff, but he's like attached to a big pole and his fingers aren't all the way there. <laughs> but even just like beyond that, he's, he's a little bit of a non entity. He says some ominous things, but he doesn't really do anything. And most of what he's he does is more of like say a plot device confusing. than a character. Yeah, exactly. Somehow Palpatine was returned and now we got to deal with him. But like it could easily have been, I don't know. The, the the spirit of Palpatine exists still is not dead and Ray could you know be the vessel for that or something I don't know it'd be it'd be harder to do but I don't know it'd be just a different corner for them to paint themselves into than the one they did mm. yeah I don't know I I I also don't care for I mean we already talked about this. I don't care for the Emperor being in this movie at all mm-hmm. it felt like a little bit like what else are we gonna do I don't know the Emperor yeah. The ten-year-old, um, but uh, he liked the emperor. Again, it's back to that. 
It really is, and I hate to do this because I love The Last Jedi, but The Last Jedi, I mean, there's just not, there weren't a lot of directions to go after The Last Jedi. It's really hard to mm-hmm. imagine. I can understand how everybody had this problem coming up with the third movie because it just didn't really feel like there's like a natural next place to go. Yeah, there was no, let's it. go rescue Han Solo. Right. Let's mm-hmm. go, you yeah. know, there was no natural. We st- but it's weird because yeah. it's not like he made this movie and then showed it to them and then they were like, oh my God, like they, Lucasfilm approved all that. So they had <laughs> yeah. to know that, that like, that he was kind of tying up a bunch of bows that would mm-hmm. now have to be untied again in order to remain strings. I don't know, I'm losing my, losing my <laughs> metaphor here, but, uh, what is he talking about? But so you can't really blame, uh, Ryan Johnson for it. Cause you know, it was no. all, all, you know, apparently JJ Abrams approved it and everything. So, uh, yeah. I don't know. Oh it's yeah, I would never. I love Ryan Johnson. I would never blame him for anything. I, I think he wrote a, an incredible movie. I love The Last Jedi. I do really mm-hmm. high on my list of Star Wars movies. But but to, as a second movie into a third movie, it's a tough one. Right. Yeah. It's like the hardest exquisite corpse or whatever you call it <laughs> when you draw a picture to the end of a folded oh, yeah. page and turn it over and say, now you got to draw another picture. It's really hard to make it connect. I, I think it could have been done and. Um, I think they could have taken some more time and, and I'm not the first person to say that by any means, obviously. So, um, but, but it, it's the emperor just felt like a kind of cynical move where they thought, Hey, they love the, the emperor. Everybody loves the emperor. They'll just accept this mm-hmm. because they like the emperor. And it's like, no, that's not, I think that was pretty tone deaf of them to think that that might be the case. It's like, actually yeah. you're talking about a bunch of nerds, a bunch of pedants. <laughs> They're going to come up with every reason why this is dumb, not just accept it. You got to understand mm-hmm. that about these people. And sometimes I think that there is a lack of understanding of what they've got on their hands with the fandom um, in a lot of different ways. Also, but, if you take um, a guy who was got to put like, a little more thought into it, that's all the bad guy was completely killed to death in the uh, return of the Jedi. It was the triumphant mm. thing. It was the triumph of that tri- uh, a trilogy of movies. And not only are you negating that by bringing this guy back, but now, when he's defeated now, oh, I guess he's defeated until we need another bad guy and we can't think of anything and he'll come back again. It's like It, it makes it seem mm-hmm. like, I mean, yes, of course the battle always goes on and you never win the war just once, but people do die and they, 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 they stop and new things happen. And there's there's yeah. the movie, all kinds of movies these days are having a hard time with that. Just let, let yeah, things right. die. Kylo Ren tried to tell us in the last movie, let things die, kill them. He if you said have to. it. He said it right to our the faces. Movie we didn't said listen. it. Yeah. <laughs> John, it, you it, mentioned to me the move was. Oh, sorry. I was just going to say to me the move was always a time jump. Mm-hmm. I really yeah, think yeah, they really. needed to let let Kylo become something new and over time, something more. I don't know what it'd be. He'd have to evolve or devolve or however you want to, but he needed to still be the figurehead, the top of the heap guy, but he couldn't just be Kylo Ren. He would have to, he would have to be like, just like Palpatine was like eaten on, eaten from the inside Mm -hmm. by the dark side. Right. Mm -hmm. And he becomes this whole other thing that she's got to deal with. But for the most part, they've had to be in hiding this whole time. All that stuff would have made more sense to me considering the state of the resistance at the end of last Jedi and the state of, Kylo Ren, he's so angry and bitter at that point that he's going to have to go off and become the ultimate. And then really, he's not that different when you meet him. And uh, at the beginning of this movie, he's like, oh, it's just Kylo Ren again. Mm-hmm. Like, what, what's changed? Ren he's again. looking for something new. Oh, he meets the Emperor. Oh, what's going on here? Like, none of it feels quite natural. And, or, or it doesn't really raise the stakes of the whole enterprise. Like, these three movies should have increasing stakes throughout, and by the end, there should be something new and something that's escalated within the like emotional core of the movie, which is the relationship between Ray and and Kylo Ren. So I don't know. Like to me, that was the move. Like you're gonna have to ch- take us to a whole new place. That's the way to fix what the Last Jedi, the difficulties that Last Jedi gave to them as far as making a third movie. Yeah. But, sorry. Oh, she had a question. Maybe I answered it already. <laughs> no, no, no. You, you mentioned uh, that uh, about it being rushed. You know, they had all the problems with the... Um, but it's interesting, to if we could peek into that multiverse universe, because that means it would have come out during COVID times. So, because mm-hmm. this came... This is like the last thing right before... Not the last thing, but, you know, this came out December of 19. And then within six months, the whole world had... Uh, so that would have been an interesting... Same, like, it would, it would have been, been a different it movie. Been great for it. It would have been yeah, so but, good for it because mm, yeah. you put it on a shelf and you go, guess what you got to look for the, when we're finally back in the theater, yeah, the a quiet place too, or star Wars. <laughs> See what I mean? Or 
No Time to Die. <laughs> like, look what yeah. you know. I, I I I never really looked up the numbers, but No Time to Die made a ton of money, right? Like, so they they shelved Bond and then they brought him back after COVID. The movie was done. It was the fir- that was the first one where I went. Oh, we got something bad on our hands here because they just canceled Bond altogether. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. this, this plague is real, and and so I think it did pretty well. I don't think it did as well as Skyfall or anything like that. But um, Star Wars, like at the end, they would it would have been a better movie. And this anticipation of once we get on the other side of this, when we're ready to go back to the theaters, it's going to be Star Wars. I think it would have been great. Yeah. Um, actually, for the movie, I think it would have helped. So it wouldn't have come out during COVID. That would have been they would never would have done that. But um, you don't think it would have been definitely. debuting and that would have been their Disney Plus kind of here it is, everyone. Oh, this I would hope not. There was that going on. And yeah. you know, I mean, I guess that's what the Mandalorian was, Tenet, was wound up becoming. T- Tenet was supposed to be that and then Nolan uh, Christopher Nolan raised hell and got it into the theaters and then left Warner Brothers because <laughs> he was so mad about them even trying to do that. So but obviously that's a little different. Uh, in this case, you know, this is just a property. J.J. Abrams yeah. isn't going to do that to Disney. So I don't know. Um, that's an interesting question, though. I kind of want, yeah, I would like to see that alternate universe where they took a little bit of time, made a better, wrote a better script and made a better movie and then released it in 2021 or whenever it was that the movie started coming back. The other challenge with uh, taking Palpatine out is you need a bad guy because if you, I'm assuming they went into this being like Kylo Ren has to be redeemed. Like mm-hmm. that. We can't just, mm-hmm. she can't just kill him in the end. He has to be redeemed somehow. And it seems like that would be huh. harder to do without a, a bigger bad guy. Like you need an emperor to threaten Luke in order for Vader to, to redeem right. himself. So you need someone to yeah. threaten Ray somehow that Kylo Ren would be. Well, so I'd probably create a new character. Like there would be a hit. So if we get this time jump, then Kylo Ren's had time to create this acolyte or whatever. Sure. That yeah. then new becomes the. Something a new apprentice yeah. and then, but he, so Kylo Ren's the big bad guy. Yeah. Like I think he should so, be, that's what I'm saying. He's already so he been can't be redeemed, but like middleman. He has to be redeemed. What's that? that studio note. He has to be. Yeah. <laughs> right. But he can't well, be I mean, the big bad guy. Why can't he then? be redeemed? Sure well, how would he, how would such a thing? That occur? would be a whole, that would be a new thing, right? Vader got, was redeemed, but the emperor couldn't be. So now we have the emperor redeemed. <laughs> Like that's yeah. the new thing. Like you're doing something different right. that you haven't seen before is supposed to be so the like idea. His, so so even if he's the big bad, he could still be redeemed. Like but also like, like, how would it happen? Ren, how would yeah. how would he, he would just be like, Oh, you know I what? Know. You convinced me. I'm sorry, I took the whole galaxy. But that is kind take, of what happens in this well, movie. He's fighting he's fighting yeah. Ray and then he gets like a message from his mom and then he thinks about his dad yeah. and then he throws away his lightsaber and then he's he all redeemed. Your dad. Yeah, it could be basically the same thing. Yeah. Of course the ideal would have been for Carrie Fisher to have survived and have it just be Leia do it. That would have been the yeah, ultimate That would have been nice. I mean, yeah, we haven't even talked about that. I mean, you guys have talked about that, but how um Sad, sadly, Carrie Fisher died, and it really threw a wrench in the operation here. Mm-hmm. I mean, it really did. And it's kind of like yeah. maybe that was never – they were never going to be able to recover from that fully. But, I, I mean, that's know. that's something but, where you can say, hey, I know we said this is going to come out you know, whenever this is supposed to come out, but we're going to take some time because our, one of our main characters just died. Right. And we have to convince yeah. Meryl Streep to play her instead. <laughs> that's what they should have done. Some way – because to me, the central, the central relationship of these movies is Ray and – Ren, Kylo Ren. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then yeah. the triangle, you have your triangle of characters in drama is then Leia, right? The, so Leia, especially in Finn. this movie, that's supposed to be there. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry, not Finn. Uh, no, as far as the deeper emotional, like, because Finn means nothing to Kylo Ren. Mm-hmm. So in order for the triangle to work, or all three people have to mean <laughs> something to each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I th- Exactly. Right. <laughs> but Leia means something to both of them. Right. Yeah. Like yeah, almost true. the same thing. It's almost a sibling thing. So that would have been the ultimate. So that triangle comes together in the end and he's redeemed through that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Mm-hmm. That's all I can no. think of. That Obviously like it wasn't movie. doable because Carrie Fisher wasn't there. And yeah. um, CG, you know, CGI Carrie is not good. No. It's bad. I do think they made <laughs> the really worst possible Every time I watch it, I'm like, oh, yeah. That they had. They, they, of all the ways they could have gone, they they picked the one. I know they 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 tried to keep her as a character, and it just they they would they would have been better off either killing her at the, the movie opens with her funeral, or you know Black Panther style, or um, honestly, you know I think the audiences are grown up enough that they could have handled somebody else playing her. 
I think that if, if, <laughs> if <laughs> that, honestly, okay, let me rephrase that. No. They should have been able to handle Alden, that. Alden Ehrenreich well, yeah. has, has a few things to say about that. A, <laughs> he was a very good Han Solo but, and everybody knows it. <laughs> oh, yeah, fine, I think that, this is but, a, again, going back to what I said about, you know, me seeing Star Wars the first time, she's the, cheese princess there's just no way there's yeah. just no way anyone would accept it it couldn't happen and again Meryl going, Streep going all the way back to Monday no she couldn't she uh, going all the way back the to Monday she plays Fisher. wouldn't it have given Poe a stronger foundation in this movie if it began with him be, being the, the leader yeah. at the very start yeah. mm-hmm. maybe that would have been better for Poe so we start off on the crawl and it's immediately like instead of what does the crawl say? I can't remember at the beginning of the this. The dead silly. speak. Like voices from the, the dead yeah. speak, right? Yeah. Instead of yeah. that, it's it's like a galaxy more. Leia doesn't speak anymore because she's dead. A princess <laughs> a princess has died or something like that, right? Yeah. So we start right away in the crawl. Princess Leia's dead. And then we move to whatever, however you want to show that, a, memor- you know, a memorial or whatever. Mm. And Poe has to deal with now being the head of this whole thing. Yeah. That would have been better for him. I don't know. I, yeah. I think that was the way to go. Like she what died if, between, she really if, did die between movies. Therefore, maybe the character should have died between yeah. movies. Hmm. Well, uh, anything else for minute one oh five? Um. Sorry, I, I think I'm getting a little loopy. I might have been a little bit over the top. This no, summer. no, no, no those no, Fridays are for. Yeah, it's good. Um, thought, not gonna thoughtful out of the analysis. Yeah. yeah. Um. But okay, everyone is uh, forever holding their peace, so I guess that will wrap up. Thanks so much for uh, coming uh, back on the show, guys. People should check out ABCDTOS. Yes, and, I agree. Um, yeah, sure. and, other, and, and all your various other you know. podcasts. Yeah. Although I um, hang on, I'm being handed an update here uh, that uh, I was trying to make the joke and I can't. Was, I shouldn't. <laughs> That's anyway. what the message says. <laughs> yeah. Don't make it's a the weird joke. message. Um, it's no, I was going to make a joke about, uh, uh, I've got, I've been, just been handed an update that, uh, Joe Maisel's plane was shot down over the sea of Japan. So, oh man, oh, he'll be fine. Radar. Yeah. Too Damn soon. Radar. <clears throat> Hello, Joe. All right. Show on, on that CBS. tragic note, <laughs> we will Hello, close out the week. <laughs> oh, and Joe, we'll see everyone on the of different strokes first. Sure. Come on. Wow. Hello, Larry. Sorry. Uh, Star Wars Minute. (laughs) Star Star Wars Wars Minute. Minute. (laughs) Thanks, everybody.